Maya Cosmogenesis 2012 Prophetic Book John Major Jenkins Late 90s one On the Mayan Doomsday And look, it's even got the Borders retail sticker on the bottom there, $20. Elmid found another spectacular one. This is an anatomy one. Skeletons, the extraordinary form and function of bones. It's intended to be like an illustrated version of it. An easy, consumable, readable version. Goes through a bunch of different animals. Awesome find, Elmid. This is an old graphic novel. Dude, this came out. Contract with God and other tenement stories. Will Eisner. Among the others, we predicted that transgenic species, animal chimeras, and clones, test tube babies, and rental of surrogate wombs, and the fabrication of human organs and the human gene surgery would all be realized before the end of the current century. That's what we're all living, living, living today. Uh, uh, the new biotech century of gene editing and playing God just like Jurassic Park. Yeah. yeah clones are so in right now. No, no, this is terrible. Another gem, NASA Nazis and JFK conspiracy genre book. Operation War was a paperclip. Where they brought all over the German scientists as refugees and were like, all right, work with us for advanced engineering. Remember, probably remember, I mentioned uh, Operation High Jump, who knows? Yeah, they, they received accolades after this. Great find. Unbelievable here, just sitting on the table, Hunter S. Thompson, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. The paperback, looks like a later printing. The byline on it is a generation of swine, Gonzo Papers, Volume 2, Tales of Shame and Degradation in the 80s. In his book section, and I found one very peculiar. Pop culture proudly presents a stupendous, death-defying extravaganza of circuses, carnivals, and fairs in America, winter 1972. So what is it exactly? I'll flip open some pages. It's basically saying like and it's, different locations and stuff, different circuses. Why are there so many like annotations and That's sources? Because like back then they actually let you know where their source was. Cold, victory at sea, Cold War epic. Um, so it's pretty cool. Don't run into odd carnival books too often. So. This is really something. It has to be a really small press here. The lesbian gothic novel, The Marquise and the Novice, from Victor Ramstetter. And this was published in 1983. Vintage LGBTQ is typically pretty hot. A guide to Benaki Museum. It looks like a very intriguing book. Wonderful artwork. Very colorful. Um, archaeological finds in this That's book. That's a good printing of it, too, with full, uh, it isn't too overly sized. Like most no, of but the reason why I like this book, too, when you're reading it, Table you've books. got, a, it's got a bookmark. That helps. You know, you got bookmarks on both There's sides. There's some, like, Christian paintings in there that has, like, Jesus slaying a dragon. You gotta see it. I'm Seriously. Serious. Yeah, I'm serious. Wow. Like this one of Jesus? It might be right here. Hold up. Yep, right there. You see at the bottom? He's like slaying the serpent. Right here? Yep. One of the angels. Then there's another one that's more graphic of it. Oh, wow. Let me turn the page. 
It might be a few pages back. Yeah, there we go, right there. You see that? That's a full-blown dragon reptilian buy-in. Oh, wow. And this is a museum in Athens, Greece. Wow. Look at that. It's a hammer. It's an ancient hammer. They oh, actually yeah, found yeah. that hammer. Yeah, it's like and I think this one. is Noah. It says it right above here. A fragment of a wall painting with depiction of St. Trifon, 14th century. I also noticed some of these serpents got three heads at the bottom, if you could see it. And then the hand of God coming from the skies. Like the soldiers being blessed. St. George icon bearing the signature of the painter Angelos, second quarter of 15th century. I was looking at this picture and I couldn't believe it, but this this woman has a full-grown man-child with a beard sitting on her lap. That's like some pygmy stuff right there. And he's like blessing like the, the cup, like it's a chalice, like it's yeah. a holy chalice. Yeah. From which radio antennas are suspended. Okay, the extraterrestrial, the search for extraterrestrial life. Let's sell you. But yeah, this is actually really good. This is by, this is a quote from Carl Sagan. A lighthearted and accessible decision of perhaps the most exciting possible modern science. So this talks about SETI and talks about the closing SETI. I don't know if they ever closed SETI, but... I thought this was pretty interesting. An imaging, an image chart of an uh, interstellar spaceship. Um, then, Someone's junk mail is being used as the bookmark. Yes, I thought it was very uh, apropos. <laughs> so, let's see, there's the binary code that they couldn't figure out. That'll make you fall asleep. And then there's this one too. These are wavelengths. This is actually a star system. That's, that's weird. So they're like... That's the strangest wavelength. It's like a constellation. Yeah. And then... Uh, let's see. What about these other two? Well, this sci-fi this sci -fi I thought was pretty interesting. The reason why I thought it was interesting because they got the big head on it, which if you look... Totally indicative of the greys. If you No, not just the greys. If you look at the serpent aliens, as in this uh, extraterrestrial species book, um, the guide to greys, reptilians, hybrids, and Nordics... This actually, this is, a, this is a serpent female. She has an enlarged head as well. So if you look at these different alien species that are in here, that are known. Are some of them moon men? Because this is a moon men one. A, a lot of, there's a lot of them have big heads. Because they're smarter than us. Well, I don't think it's just that. I think they're, they're, um, uh, pineal gland is fully opened. 
So it makes them open to other things that we are not because our like pineal interdimensional gland, travel. Our pineal gland is closed because of fluoride that's in our water, our food, our toothpaste. And fluoride is actually the main ingredient in rat poison. That's why in your toothpaste it says not to swallow it. Can't argue against all the scientific city water things. poisoning that's going on. Yeah. That's for sure. And this one I thought was pretty Especially interesting. Especially when they don't even report when like there's a sewage dump in it because it happens because, so often. Because just looking at this picture, you've got people that are wrapped in these like cocoons. You've got a couple star-like things. You've got an iceberg with a landmass. There's some more people underneath. But then you see these. I don't know what these are. That's and the this great looks, slimy monsters. That's what it's about. It's like a right. type of these slime monsters. Very right. indicative of the time. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I like how it's the iceberg and back there. It's almost castle-like. And then there's like some tribal people down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And this book is actually from late 50s. 1953. Uh,